Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So let's find out together who's coming towards you. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Cups clarified by the Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups. There can be a love offer coming towards you, Knight of Cups, from a colleague or a co-worker for some of you, from a potential friend or someone that you already know for others, considering the Six of Cups energy which finds roots in the past. The problem seems to be, guys, that this person may not be completely free when they express an interest in your favor. And you can find out about that thanks to the open lines of communication represented by the Eight of Wands, which can even be an energy about Cupid's arrow or Zaros of Love. Something may be off in this interaction, kinda Following the cassette or a cool card, we may listen to a song that can miss multiple beats, you know? And it can be difficult to accept an offer if there is no space for a connection to take off properly. So the vision may be different at this point. This person can take action with you 100%. We got the Oracle card. I am not sure that you can be available to follow their lead if you find out that, you know, maybe they are seeing someone else, but they do not know what they want, and so they can try to explore other opportunities. Because at the end of the day, they can be unfair towards all the people involved in such a game. And the Axe Oracle card can kick in because it can be the opportunity to stop the pattern. Guys, I want to see the Eight of Wands as an energy of communication. Let's see what this person can say or what some of you can find out through the interaction because it seems to be an active one. Here we go. The Lovers. Soulmate energy, a ton of attraction, this can be the case, but also a choice, heart over head decision. This person can say that if they are seeing someone else, they are not convinced about that situation because the connection with you feels different. All right, thank you, but the foundations must be set in the right way, otherwise the connection can be doomed. Ten of Swords. Makes the point, guys, even better than my English. Five of Wands, competition, another confirmation, and the Strength card, the opportunity to hold back. Hmm. Some of you may not trust how the situation can begin, guys, because you can be aware, kinda immediately, that this person is not exactly free. And this is basically a deal breaker, guys. So, if they are going to try to overcome the challenge represented by your resistance, we can flip the concept about the strength card. And so, if you do not trust what you see and what you feel coming from the interaction, you are not going to give in to the advances of this person, even if they can say that they are falling in love with you following the Knight of Cups, just to be clear. So, energies of the connection, how does it feel? Hierophant High Priestess, clarified by the Page of Cups and the Four of Cups. Guys, potential match, potential perfect match. Hierophant High Priestess makes sense considering the lovers. This can even be a soulmate a connection for some of you. But, the Page of Cups is a small token, it's even smaller than the Knight of Cups. Why? Because some of you can perceive that despite the beautiful words coming from this person, there is no space for a real connection, especially if they are seeing someone else. So the Four of Cups can become almost your energy because you can be out of reach. You may not be interested in the opportunity to explore more and more a connection with someone that may not be entirely free. This makes ton of sense, if you ask me. And the Page of Cups can even become the opportunity to say, look, I am sorry, but this situation is not the one that I want. 
Let's go for the Page of Cups. As simple as the energy can be, it can also be decisive in a scenario like this one. Seven of Wands, a resistance. I am not available for an experiment, let's say, in the Romantic Arena with someone that was seeing, is seeing someone else yet, and so the prerequisites of the connection are not quite right. King of Swords, clear communication. Guys, it's necessary. Some of you may have to manifest the energy. Notice all the factors involved in the situation and then speak up accordingly. King of Wands, recurrent energy, we got it in the advice position for you. There can be attraction, guys. I want to say that. It can even be understandable. There is nothing wrong with that. But the vision, again, the vision is not the same. And so even the best course of action in order to manifest it into reality uh, is not available, you know, because the two of you may want different things right now. This person may have to embrace a bitter pill, guys. You can handle them a bitter pill to swallow. So what's the advice for you from the Tarot? Two of Cups, Six of Pentacles, clarified by the King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. You can question the mindset, the level of effort, and also the intentions of this person. You can feel that the connection or the interaction is a one man up, one man down dynamic because either you can think that this person can take advantage of you or you can even think that they are taking advantage of the person that they were seeing or they are still seeing. So the Two of Cups cannot be honored properly. It's the chance to grow together with a special person, another soulmate energy, but guys, trust, fairness, respect, equal give and take, vulnerability, transparency, honesty, all factors that play a role in the Two of Cups energy. This situation can be a fleeting spark, a temporary spark, following the Double King of Wands even, but think twice before you take action with this person. So do not allow your emotions or the attraction to dictate what you can do. You have to be rational. King of Swords, High Priestess even, and the Hierophant can be a structure, guys. So two pillars, solid foundations, the connection can lack something crucial from the very beginning. And the fact that there can be competition or gossip, especially in the workplace, let's say, may not be something in favor of the situation. So guys, I want to see the Six of Pentacles, lacking balance, fairness, and respect for me, someone that can take advantage of a situation, and also as a consequence, someone that can pay the price for that. Here we go. Eight of Swords, feeling stuck, or feeling like the situation doesn't really have a way out. It can be a dead end, guys, considering the Ten of Swords that we got. Ten of Wands, the last mile for a situation, for me, extremely overwhelming and challenging uh, energies can be involved in the Ten of Wands. To you, I would say that considering the King of Swords, it would be wise to speak up sooner rather than later when it comes to the opportunity to let this person know that you may not be available. Knight of Swords. It can be an urge about harsh words, guys. I wouldn't say that there are going to be discussions between the two of you because some of you may have just the necessity to let this person know that you are not interested. The discussions, the arguments, the heated exchanges can come up if you give air to this connection. So it takes off somehow, some way, and then there can be someone else that can find out about it. Then there are going to be altercations, problems. So it would be wise to avoid them, guys. This person can be infatuated with you. This is fair to say. But 
if they are not free or if they are already seeing someone else, it means that deep within they do not know what they want. And so I think that some of you may have the necessity to stand your ground, seven ones, resist the avances because the situation doesn't feel entirely right. And so you have to pay attention to what can be available in such a scenario. And once again, make a decision from a rational standpoint and try your best to avoid to be carried away, you know, to get carried away by the emotions that can come to the table in a situation like this one. Axe Oracle card, guys, it seems meaningful because an offer may be turned down. And this can be the wisest possible decision for some of you. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.